Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isabel. I'm an author, speaker, blogger, and I love to share spiritual teachings with a touch of color. Today, a video about synchronicities, how they are accelerating, and creating an environment where we are literally living in a giant treasure hunt. This week alone, I met three people. Three people that I ran into at the drugstore, at the local cafe, two different cafes actually, and we had a divine meeting, a divine rendezvous for very specific reasons. One was for me to offer coaching services to someone in their personal life. Um, another meeting was also, it was professional but in a different way. And I am amazed, I am amazed. Every single time I go out these days, I run into someone that I know or a new person that is destined to be on my path, either for work, personal reasons, or just to help me evolve. So I want you to pay attention to who is presenting themselves in your life. It is not random. Nothing in this universe is random. If you keep running into the same person every morning at your local cafe, there's a reason. If you keep running to, to the same person at the grocery store and you exchange eye contact but you don't know why, there's a reason. You keep um, hearing someone's name repeated to you in a conversation, it's not random. You might have to contact this person or you will run into them eventually. The universe is accelerating the great gathering of souls. I repeat, the universe is orchestrating and rapidly orchestrating and accelerating the gathering of souls. The souls that are destined to work together, to evolve together, to help the planet ascend together are meeting right now at a very accelerated pace. It's a beautiful thing. You're going to be meeting your soul family. The reason being is that we have just closed out a very massive cycle with the last lunar eclipse. It was a doozy. I don't know if you felt it. It was an intense lunar eclipse asking us to close chapters in our lives that do not serve the evolution of our soul, that do not fit anymore with our vibrations. There's nothing, it's nothing personal. It's nothing personal against anybody. It's just that your vibrations are at higher level. If you've been doing the work on yourself, I've been on this path since 2015, 2016. If you've done work on yourself, if you've healed some wounds, if you've evolved, if you're more into the unconditional love for everyone, if you're feeling that in your heart, that means that you are really ready to ascend to the next level in your life. And there are certain energies, whether it be professional, personal, that cannot follow into this new chapter. So this lunar eclipse came in here and just, whoa, put a sword into all of the past. For example, in my own life, uh, there was a professional arrangement that came to an end. It came to an end naturally. It had to end so that I go to the next level in my life. Very, very simple. No hard feelings, nothing negative about anyone. It's just I'm ready for something different with a new group that are going to take me to the next level in my career. So you might be going through that as well. Whatever has ended in the last couple of weeks or is ending now because we are still feeling the energies of this eclipse, you have to let it go. It's time to let it go, release it, send love to the person, to the situation, to the contract, to the business, whatever it is, send love and gratitude that you had a chance to do a tango together, to dance together in this lifetime, and now move to the next part of your journey. Very, very, very important. And once you close some doors, once it's like when you clean your house. If you give away some stuff you don't need in your garage, then you have space to bring a few more things. Same thing with your closet. If you keep a, cl a cluttered, crammed closet, you don't have a chance to bring anything new with the new season. So it's very important every season to do a little cleaning of your closets, donate your clothes to a local organization or thrift store so that you can get a new piece, a new dress for the summer. It's the same thing in our lives. When we carry dead weight, we carry relationships that have served their purpose, relationships that are based on trauma bonding, toxicity, uh, unrequited love, all of that, 
you can't carry that into the next dimension. You can't carry those relationships into the new journey, into the new path. So it was a cleaning house. This eclipse was asking us to clean house so it can bring you this treasure chest full of goodies. And in just one week, I had all these beautiful meetings with people left, right and center, which means that it's an acceleration. People are being connected. I'm being sent to some people that can use my own assistance, my own coaching guidance because I offer coaching. I am being sent to some people on my path where I can be of assistance. So in the morning, I invite you, I invite you to do three things. First of all, never stay alone at home, isolated in your house, in your apartment, in your hotel room, in your van, whatever your arrangement is, never ever stay isolated and alone because the universe right now is sending gifts, is sending people your way to really help you on your journey. I can attest to this. It's happening to me daily. Number two, make sure that you're open, open to the sun. I keep running into the same person at the grocery store. Okay, I need to talk to them. I need to talk to them. Just strike up a conversation, you know. Hey, what's up? Very simple. Same thing at the coffee shop, wherever you go, wherever you spend a lot of time. Be open to the signs. Be open to the gifts. Be open to the gifts. If the universe wants to send you a contract, a gift, an opportunity, say yes, because this is going to take you to the next level in your life. We are now upgrading. We're upgrading every level of our lives, professional, personal, spiritual, everything, the whole nine yards. So it's no more, it's not a time to say no, to shut any doors, to uh, push people away, especially those people that are here right now to assist you, to elevate you, to take you where you want to be. It's very, very important to open yourself up to this beautiful, beautiful synchronicity, this beautiful orchestration of divinely orchestrated gathering of souls. It's all meant for the best. And I, during Mercury retrograde, I had a situation where I missed an email and sadly I missed a meeting because my emails weren't working and I missed the opportunity to work with a person on a particular day because my email wasn't working. So make sure that your technology is running really well right now. We are out of Mercury retrograde. We are out of the eclipse or almost out of the eclipse. Make sure you clean house in every aspect of your life in order to get those emails, to say yes to life, to say yes to the opportunities, to say yes to the universe. Don't stay home alone. Get out there. Feel the energies. Feel the synchronicities, these rendezvous, these destined rendezvous, and just embrace it. It's like surfing with life. When you really are able to follow the signs, the synchronicities, you you become like a surfer. You surf with life. Every day is like a new wave and you're like, wow, it's amazing. And I love this feeling that life is becoming a treasure hunt. Speaking of which, life is literally becoming like a treasure hunt in my own life because I do love going to go thrifting. I found this great ring at a thrift store recently. I found this sweater in a thrift store. I love thrifting. I love buying secondhand because it's really great for the environment. And I always find these really cool things at a very low price. And this weekend I'm going to garage sales. So I'm following the advice of Gary Vaynerchuk. I know he loves garage sales. And I'm going to go check out a few places because they're, they're permitted this weekend. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited because I know I'm going to find a treasure. I can just feel it. I feel it. Maybe a piece of jewelry, an old handbag, something vintage, a hat. I'll let you know what I find in my next video. But I'm also excited about chatting with the people behind these objects. What is their story? I love that. I love um, finding out what the story is behind who bought this? Who bought this ring? Who is this person? I love that. So I'm looking forward to meeting the people, to meeting these objects that are waiting for me at these garage sales. And I love doing it because it's really good for the environment. We're recycling stuff as opposed to buying new. 
So all this to say that the universe life is like a giant treasure hunt and if you treat it that way, your life will become magical in every corner of your life. In self-development, self-expression, abundance, health and love. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and until next time for another video. Bye for now.